The success story of Dries van Noten is entirely unique. One of the Antwerp Six, he operates a couple of own stores. His clothes are sold worldwide and his company remains self-financed, a true luxury in the contemporary fashion world. The Dries van Noten's aesthetic is often described as ethnical eclectic and that style has won him recognition around the world. I always look for something that might be appropriate for our upcoming exhibitions. And the next one is 1930, so that's impossible because that's almost a hundred years ago now. But next fall we're doing one on fashion and dance, and it's always possible that there might be something which seemed inspired by dance. So I'm going to be looking for that this season. And two, we look for things that we should just make sure we have in the permanent collection. And Dries has been very nice. We've acquired some really beautiful and important pieces of his for the collection, for the permanent collection. His style is, is really artistic in a really beautiful way. It's very unique. They're the kind of clothes that people will collect and save and wear for many years. They're very precious. The, the craftsmanship is impeccable. The aesthetic is very sophisticated and beautiful. He's one of the few designers today who really understands how to use color and pattern. I think with Dries is he manages to, he's always worked in silhouettes that are very understandable to, to a large majority so when you know people were saying back in the day that he was very much ethnic inspired it basically gave him something tangible and understandable to work with in terms of the silhouette. I mean now you know Dries isn't about that, Dries is about colour, he is about print um, but there's this extraordinary understanding statement in that bizarre way where you say colour and print but there's this understated elegance to what he does. Well I, I loved it. I, I like the whole golden fantasy of the thing. I like the way his shows are different. Most designers send out you know, uh, three or four short dresses and then five or six longer dresses and then the little kind of groups. He, his shows kind of roll out, you know, which I find very charming. I think they're the kind of clothes that if you're a guy you'd like to date the girl because it's kind of poetic and romantic and, and you're a woman you'd like to wear because it's, it's chic but kind of authoritative. Um, I, I, I like the whole casting the details to the like the gold he put in the eyelashes of the models to the kind of enormous cockard, this French imagery at the, the, the East Belgium and I found it very French revolutionary the end. How did you feel about the models and people oh, watching it? I just loved. To, I, I wish I'd stood up more and looked more at the models and the clothes, but I was too busy when I play like with my head down. That's my problem. So you haven't seen the collection? Uh, I've seen it on the rails and I've seen some of the models and I just think it looks wonderful. Of course, of course. Yeah, very excited. Mm -hmm.